हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप यू आर डूइंग वेल नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज डिफाइन करंट डेंसिटी इज इट अ स्केलर और अ वेक्टर एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ई इज मेंटेन इन अ मेटलिक कंडक्टर इफ एन बी द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मास स्मॉल एम चार्ज माइनस ई पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम इन द कंडक्टर एंड टॉ इट्स रिलैक्सेशन टाइम शो दैट द करंट डेंसिटी जे इक्वल्स टू एल्फा ई where alpha equals to n e square by m times tau so the problem is based on the topic current electricity this is the kind of a derivation and definition so first of all we have to define current density what is current density so current density j is the ratio of current and cross section area it is defined as the current passing through a unit cross section area so current density current density it is defined as the current passing through per unit area so this is the definition and the formula is j equals to i upon a now here a is treated as area vector we know that uh, if suppose we have a certain surface then the vector normal to the area is treated as the area vector that is why this is a kind of the expression in which j is the vector quantity so our answer is it is a vector quantity now the second part of the problem the electric field is present in a metallic conductor we have a metallic conductor an electric field is present suppose its direction is from right to left so when the direction is from right to left in a metallic conductor mainly the charge carriers are electrons the electrons will drift from the left hand side region to the right hand side region now suppose a is the cross section area of this particular metallic conductor and it is given that n is the number of electrons per unit volume n is the number of electrons per unit volume if some particular electron passes from this point to this point in delta t time interval and vd is the drift velocity of the electron then it cover a distance of vd delta t in that particular time duration delta t so we can say that this is the length that the electron cover in delta t time now this is the length and this is the cross section area area multiplied by length is the volume volume is area multiplied by length or a into vd delta t so this is the volume covered by the group of electrons group of electrons because there is no not a single electron and it is given that small is n is the number of electrons per unit volume so we can say that n times a vd delta t is the particular number of the charge carrier and we know that the charge of an electron is e so according to the formula q equals to n e we write it n e here so this is the number of charge carrier passing in unit volume this is the charge of an electron so this is the total amount of charge that passes through this particular volume in delta t time and we know that charge is basically current multiplied by time so i delta t charge is i delta t now this delta t cancels from both side and we get i equals to n e a v d and when we cross multiply this a here then we get i upon a is equal to n e v d and i upon a is nothing but the current density so the current density is equal to n e v d and we know that v d that is drift velocity is equal to small e capital e tau by m this is the formula for the drift velocity where small e is the number of small e is the charge of an electron capital e is the electric field tau is known as the relaxation time and m is the mass which is given in this particular problem so we put the value of vd as e uh, e capital e m by tau and this n e is there so the final expression comes out to be n e square n e square 
then uh, tau by m times e so this is the value of j so we can see easily that this is our expression j equals to n e square tau by m times e if we call this as alpha so alpha is equal to n e square tau by m so in this way we can say that the expression for j is equal to alpha times e this is an alternate form of ohm's law ohm's law that j equals to alpha e and where alpha is n e square tau by m so this is the overall derivation of this problem so hope you understand the solution and derivation thank you